Shan, how do you feel, Sean? I've been getting DM'd about this. And I'm going to be honest with you. In the back of my mind, in my heart of hearts, I knew that this was actually going to happen. Somewhere, you know, I, I, I didn't predict the exact way it was going to happen. But I, I did know that it was uh, going to occur. And the fucked up thing about this is the way that it's occurring. I see here that my man's uh three three hundred sixty juicy. What's his name? Three six Mr. Mr. Extravagant uh, Extravagant Strawberry Hair Growth Mint Oil. Uh Mr. Mr. Eight Strokes. Um sixty strokes each angle, eight angles, uh forty five hundred strokes a day. You feel what I'm saying? Um I knew naturally for people that wanted to regrow hair. And they wanted to get their hairline back in working order. You know what I'm saying? Back to like normal 25 year old hairline type era vibes, maybe even 20 years old, 18 year old hairline. You know what I'm saying? If you blessed. I knew it wasn't possible without the intervention of pharmaceuticals to some to some extent, to some degree. But. I saw a man who had a plan, a man who, who, who had a journey, who was working toward his dream to his goal. I saw a man who had professed to his audience how he'd missed out on a birthday dinner with his woman to take care of his hairline. You feel me? That's the level of dedication that we're talking to. A man that a man that prioritized schedule, routine, discipline, and results over happiness. That's the man that I'm talking about right now. When I saw that, I saw courage. I saw someone I could follow. It is day one. Never in my life did I foresee hair transplant from the exact same individual that was selling extravagant mint hair growth oil. The spray bottles. The soap bars. All type of different random assortments of, of, of foods that you might be able to eat. The oils, the derma rolling, the stamps, the brush and the 60 strokes. What were the strokes for? How many? Hold on. He's been on this journey for what? About three months. About, 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 three, about three months. How many months is that? That's three months. How many days is that? 90 days, right? Every day. He's stroking 60 strokes each angle, right? 60 strokes times eight angles is 480 strokes. 480 strokes times 90 days is 43,200 strokes. This man stroked over 40,000 times. He religiously stroked 40,000 times. I would never leave that level of progress to Turkey. Sean, you saying you'd never consider the trip to Turkey in this case? Well, I'm not going to give an anecdotal. You know what I'm saying? This type of situation has not happened to me. And I don't foresee it happening in my near future. And we're going to pray that it never happens. But just know. I'm going to get y'all that 10,000 before I give it to niggas in Turkey. That's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's just never happened. I'm not giving a bunch of niggas who I don't even know. Like, I wasn't even born here. Why am I here? Giving y'all my hard-earned cash for hair. I'm not doing it. But granted, that's not my personal, you know what I'm saying, insecurity. For some people... This is what is ne this is the necessity, and I Don't get it. Bend over with skirt bomb has been I planted. get it. I get it. For some people, this is the necessity. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, y'all make y'all trying to get creative and shit like that. I'm gonna send y'all right here. I'm gonna send y'all to a different country. It's not gonna be Turkey. Stop playing with me. Not today. He stroked over forty thousand. All right, thought. Y'all got one more time. Anyway, it is day one prepping for my official. Hair transplant journey. For so week. first of all, I never saw the GoFundMe link. I didn't know people were really tapping in and, and donating. I didn't know what it was. Why did I meet you in Turkey a few years ago, though? You didn't. You're lying. You're lying once again. And it's fine 
that you have to do that in order to make yourself feel seen and validated. You know what I'm saying? But it's just not true. It's not true. Bro dead ass farmed views from dudes W fucked up airlines just he did. to spend that money on implants. He did. Fraud. Y'all calling bro a fraud now or what? Is he a fraud or not? Do y'all stop supporting? Like what happens beyond this point? Because like you were selling niggas a dream. You were selling them a dream. You were making them feel like, yo, I could do this my on my own. I could do this naturally. You like the dick extension pills without the pills. You're the risk for niggas that don't want to take the risk. How the fuck do you do that? And then come to find out, yo, you've been getting implants and your shit. Like, how do I look at you now? I got 60 different strawberry hair growth mint oils with your soap. Just to find out, you just gonna go right to Turkey? Like, what do I do with all this, all this, all these, all these oils? Why are you still stamping your shit? Wait, hold on. This is making me mad. 180 days now. I've been trying to naturally grow my. I'm sorry. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. Wait, no, 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 no. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. Dot Michigan Twin. Thank you for being a motivation. I'm sorry. Hold I on. Appreciate you. Oh, I love you, bro. Even though you roasted me in the past, it came with true intent. No, it didn't. Stay real. I mean, it probably did, but I'm saying I don't even know. Like, I never did that, is what I'm saying. I love you, even too. Even though my shit ain't pushed back, kunk made me feel secure about mm. the future. See? I feel betrayed. Yeah, bro. This is like, this is like, I'm trying to think of, like, what this would be the equivalent of. Is this what it's like learning wrestling is fake? No, it's more like Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, wrestling, you might just try. Like, there's no work that uh, that a viewer has to put into wrestling. It's just your entertainment is over. Imagine living and dying by this method. You got to actually put in work. Like, niggas don't pray, but they were stroking each angle, eight strokes or 80, 60 strokes each angle daily. They weren't praying, though, during Ramadan. Like, niggas was doing this over prayer is what I'm saying. This is actually worse than finding out Jesus if you want to. Like, that, that's the whole situation that I'm trying to put that, put that information out there. He also said 180 days. I, I capped it at 90. So he hasn't been stroking 40,000 times. It's actually been over 80,000 times. He stroked over 80,000 times just to go to Turkey. I've used derma stamping to try to get the blood flowing in order to help the hair growth progress. I've even made my own hair growth oil by combining the best oils with the best hair growth properties. And you've been selling it. What are they supposed to do with it now? Katana oil, rosemary oil, apple seed oil, castor oil. This is like when Millie apple. Vanilli got caught. Chill, bro. Also been using Hems 5% Minoxidil hair regrowth treatment, but I was recommended to stop using Minoxidil a week prior to the hair transplant. And since I am going to be giving up my 360 ways for a very, very long time, why not do a breast session one last time? And with that being said, go ahead and grab- He said one last time, bro. Like, how do you even do this, man? Have your soft breast, start breast- Just go ahead and stroke like a thousand times. You might as well. From your crown. Work down to your hairline. You want to make sure you hit all eight angles. If you don't need eight angles, be sure to check out my 14 video series. on. Well, my, my eight angles are irrelevant at this point. You're going to Turkey. Account where I teach you all your 360 way basics and fundamentals. Once you learn your eight angles, come back. Fuck your angles. Crown, work down to your hairline. You want to make sure you hit all eight angles. 60 strokes each angle. Don't you dare miss an angle. Now, Don't you dare that sell that oil. I attention before I actually get my hair transplant. I have this condition called support. He don't even the got the energy. It is just... He what? Oh, wait, you got all types of different intricacies in your shit. Wait a minute. He got what? Divided attention before I actually get my hair transplant. I have this condition called support. Can y'all shut up? Dermatitis, the way I would define it is just dry skin that won't go away no matter what you do. And in the winter... Wait, when did this happen? Time, it gets really bad. So I have this dry skin on my face, my eyebrows, my sideburns, my scalp has... What the fuck happened? Yo, is this what Minoxidil does? Y'all think this is a side effect of Minoxidil or is it just like random eczema? Cause I f if 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 they got cause this is one of the problems, right? I feel right? like this is the best way to scam people. Mmm. Hold that thought though. 
You said, brother, he just said, no, 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 no. You sent, wait, what do you mean? Genetics, minoxidil don't do it. Well, I think it's, ain't it alcohol and minoxidil? I don't think that should be good on your mouth, I mean, on your face. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just wondering. I was just wondering. I was just a casual I question. Just, the way I would define it is just dry skin that won't go away no matter what you do. And but it's everywhere. Time, it gets really bad. So I have this dry skin on my face, my eyebrows, my Each sideburns. is one step closer to Oh my to God, insanity. bro, please shut the fuck up. My scalp has it the worst. And a few years ago, it started growing on my chest as well. I Holy got, shit. There's no cure for seborrheic dermatitis, but I'm never the one to pass up on a challenge. So I am going to go on a journey to try to cure my seborrheic dermatitis naturally. Seborrheic dermatitis is easier to control with little to no hair. This is why I want to cut off all my hair in order to kind of tame or control my seborrheic dermatitis before. I, I wonder what you could do about I that. Did. What do you do about that? Reach out to the clinic. Before I mean, I would imagine minoxidil would only exacerbate that symptom is what I would say. Like, if that's a condition that you already predisposed to, I wouldn't imagine that putting something like what alcohol-based product would make it better. You know what I'm saying? So you probably can't even do the monoxidil journey, to be honest. And then ask if I could. And then on top of that, you stroke in mad times. Like, that's got to take its toll. Damn. And they said they would recommend at least one week's worth of hair the day of the procedure. So if you happen to have seborrheic dermatitis and want to tame it or control it before you get your hair transplant, I'll advise you cut your hair a week and a half to two weeks before in order to try to control your seborrheic dermatitis before you actually get your hair transplant. Also, if you are using minoxidil or any other medication similar to minoxidil, you need to stop using it two weeks before your hair transplant. If you drink alcohol, Holy shit. alcohol or smoke or do anything that's risky to your health, stop doing it two weeks. He look good, bald. I think he might should go. He might need to just go with the baldy. Do you think he will have stroke withdrawal? <laughs> Yo, shut the fuck up. It's prior to your hair transplant. I think. Yo. I feel bad now. He's hoed. I don't feel bad because he sold a bunch of oil, bro. Most likely. You know what I'm saying? Fun fact. Like it's a bunch of niggas in here that's like that's been clowning him for mad long, but at the same time they also bought the oil. They also bought the oil. I know they did. Waves are just curly hair trained to lay down. So in order to control the seborrheic dermatitis, we're going to start off by wetting our hair. And right after, we're going to grab our strawberry mint shampoo and conditioner bar. You guys can actually find this shampoo bar on my website, thelazespot.com. I'm actually having an Easter promotion. Use code EASTER24 to get 24% off your entire order. You want to go ahead and do two washes with the shampoo bar to really get a nice cleanse. Once you thoroughly scramble wash and massage your scalp on the second wash, go ahead and rinse that out and patch your head dry with a clean towel. Once okay. Once dry, you're going to... Yo, it looked clean though. Like, I'm not saying that that's the preference. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that's the preference. But you could, you could do some, you could do some work here. Massage your scalp with the moisturizer of your choice. Immediately following up with your strawberry mint growth oil to seal in your moisturizer that you just used. If you haven't gotten your hands on the strawberry mint growth oil yet, be sure to grab yours at thelazespot.com. Use code Easter24 at checkout to get 24% off your oil. This is what the scalp is looking like after the first day of treatment. Let's continue to try to control the seborrheic dermatitis before we actually get the hair transplant. Make sure to follow. He's putting the dermatitis under control. Okay, so what's the next clip? We've made it to day two. This is day two of the transplant. Okay, so he got clay on his whole on his whole head. Prepping for our hair transplant. Transplant day is getting closer and closer, and we have to. I'll be using a mask sometimes, only on my face though. Control our seborrheic dermatitis in order for everything to go smoothly. So today we're doing an Aztec aloe vera clay method. But first, let's grab some mango butter. Follow that up with some turmeric shea butter. Place your butters in a glass. Wait, cup. why? Put them in a the microwave until softened not melted go ahead what? and stir your butters together until about 75 why are we doing mix. once you've reached that point we're gonna go ahead and grab our strawberry mint growth oil add that uh, wait why do why is it why why are we growing about two and a half to three tablespoons of your oil and now you can finally mix everything to 100 percent. once your hair butter looks something like this go ahead and grab your container and add I'm, I'm just gonna put that in the in the uh in the pan and start making a grilled cheese or something butter to that container save that for later we're gonna need it now we're gonna go ahead and grab 100 percent natural calcium aloe vera bentonite clay powder which can be found at the wave essentials.shop if you're interested in doing this method grab yours now we're gonna add i'm not interested you you lied to me add the powder to i've been stroking for mad long and we're gonna bind everything with our apple cider you know what's crazy about this though is all the advice that he recommended he never told anybody to just like Like, did he ever mention uh, rosemary oil? 
all these cooking oils on his head. No wonder his bin head is like that. Like, I feel like that would have been way, like, if he just, I mean, I, I wouldn't recommend minoxidil to nobody, to be honest. But, like, you literally could just be, like, on some, like, natural shit. I feel like the most effective would be to take, um, it's a pill that you could take. It's a pill that you could take. I forget the name of it, but it's a, it's like a literal drug that you can actually take. I'm convinced he got sucked into a pyramid scheme and this was the way he decided to make his money back. Nigga said biotin. No, not biotin. Um, it's a drug though. I forget what it's called. Finistri finasteride. Finasteride. And just watch what shampoos and deep conditioners you use and use rosemary oil. Nigga said perk 30. I know a bunch of niggas that try rosemary and they still got bald. Well, I'm not saying it'll work. I'm just saying, like, statistically speaking, that would probably be the most, like, out of everything here. Because I feel like when we just start looking in the kitchen for shit, I feel like we've got, we gone too far. Like, I use vinegar to clean my toilet, bro. Like, I'm not saying that you can't at, at any point use this on your scalp or on your body, but it's just, like, because it's just kind of crazy. Like, we doing a little too, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot going on right now, you know what I'm saying? We reaching for anything at this point. Vinegar. Once the vinegar is added, your yeah, aloe vera clay. Rosemary oil is in his strawberry oil bottle is one of the ingredients yeah but it should be the main ingredient you can't like you shouldn't dilute a light oil like rosemary oil with other heavier oils you just want to have it be its own oil you could dilute it maybe with some water but what you really should do is wash your shit and then use the oil to trap the moisture you don't just put a bunch of oil on your shit you know what i'm saying just start brushing to look something like this if it's too gooey for your liking i don't recommend adding more vinegar because once you put it around your eyes the vinegar will burn so if you want your clay to be less gooey i suggest you add a little more water instead of more vinegar now we're ready i want to put this on my face just just because see he got such a good salesman tactic i just want to try this i don't even need it but i want to try it i want to be included all over our scalp he's making salt and vinegar chips on his head chill to cleansing. Chill. I really want you to be careful when you get to your eye area because the vinegar is really strong and you can hurt your eyes. You want to leave the mask on for up to 25 minutes. Once the mask becomes hard and it starts to crack like this, then you'll know it's ready to rinse out. I recommend getting in the shower to get a thorough rinse you probably instead should... of rinsing out in the sink. Once the mask is rinsed out, this is what our scalp is looking like. Now we need to add some moisture to our scalp. With this process, we're going to start off by wetting our hair. Following up, it's going to be our strawberry mint shampoo and conditioner bar. You can find this bar sure, on Sure, you have any skincare routine? Currently... Just curious. Once again, I swear I'm not gatekeeping. I don't have no skin routine. I have a bar of soap that's from Africa that I use on my face. And then I exfoliate probably. I've, I've gone down on the exfoliation game. I went down to like once a week exfoliating. And then I, I give myself a facial once a month. That's what I be doing. Outside of that, nothing else is getting put on my face. I do want to add. I, I do want to start adding some oils, like some real light oils to my face. But I don't really have anything else that I put. Uh, on my face just wash it every day with this african soap um exfoliate once a week and then the facial once a month and then that's that really just set me up you feel me it's not good for the scalp or growing hair what he's recommending it will do the opposite i understand he wants to make money selling fake cures but they need finasteride one milligram a day uh be nice to your scalp just keeping it clean hair will grow yeah i mean I feel like that's like the most scientifically proven method is to get on some type of drug that stops hair loss as opposed to something that will promote like hair growth. Because I feel like if you constantly trying to focus on growing hair without addressing the issue that's making you lose hair, you just kind of falling into this repeat cycle. And so you need to get in on like some type of prevention method as opposed to like a, a growth method. And then once the prevention method is implemented, then the growth is going to occur because you doing your body's going to do what it's supposed to do anyway. Um, what helped me grow a lot of hair though, not saying that this is really relevant, but a really good wash routine. If you don't have dreadlocks, a really good wash routine once every like two weeks with a very good uh, protein and honey based, uh shampoo and then you detangle your shit regularly with conditioner and you use a deep conditioner also that's like heavily rooted in honey and uh and then you live you use a leave-in conditioner and you try to style your shit a little bit like my hair grew 
the same growth that I had over three years from 2017 to 2020, I achieved in like a year just having a wash routine. A good wash routine and a prevention method, if you're trying to regrow hair, I feel like goes way better than 60 strokes each angle. And you'll save a lot of money and headache, most likely. Running an Easter promotion. Use code Easter24 at checkout to get 24%. What happened? Um, Sean, try hyaluronic acid or plant derived squalene oil for your face. It works wonders for me. What does it do? Like, what does that oil do? I try to stay away from shit that's like too heavy or make me feel like I'm weighty, like weighty, weighing myself down. Entire order. You can do up to three washes. It's up to you. After our second wash, we're going to go ahead and rinse out the shampoo, grab a clean towel, and pat our head dry. We're going to grab our turmeric shea butter mixture that we made earlier. Take a little bit of that and thoroughly apply it to our scalp. Immediately, we're going to follow up with our strawberry mint glow. Hydrates your face, but you need to top it off with a moisturizer. Got it. I need a light moist, a lighter moisturizer too. I got this one, like, got, they got a little shea butter in it. Like, it's cool, but I don't use a lot of it because it's already not. It's like it's like a little on the thicker side. I want a thinner moisturizer. Finish up this session. If you haven't got your hands on this oil yet, be sure to grab yours at thelazespot.com. Use code EASTER24 at checkout to get 24% off your oil. Once all our products are applied, this is what the scalp is looking like on day two. Be sure to hit that follow button so you can stay updated on my hair transplant journey. Yeah, it's just a little too preemptive, bro. Like, I feel like he really could have made this journey a lot better if he was just a lot more patient, you know, because I feel like so much of it is in trying to force the hair to grow. And that's the problem is that it won't grow. You know, you need you, you need you need time to address what's making it fall out. And then you can do these more aggressive methods once you see it's actually growing in. You feel me? for my hair transplant i want my hair transplant to look as natural as possible i'm not gonna bring this because even if you go get the transplant you still got to get more than one transplant like it's not gonna ever you never gonna be able to stop getting hair transplants i don't know how often you got to go get them but this is a lot of money to invest in just a couple corners of your head where you might otherwise be able to get some a little bit of growth back if you push the line back and you just focus on what's making the hair fall off i feel like you could really do this maybe not naturally but with as little pharmaceutical intervention as humanly possible. I'm gonna leave this the way it is. All I really want them to fix is this area right here. So I just want a straight line across, going here, and that's it. I just want this area. We're getting closer and closer to the trip. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. And then you gotta do like, they, they gotta put hair here most likely. Like it's just too much additional shit. You realize like it's not just about a perfect hairline you need like you need you, you what i don't know what those things are called like uh i don't know like how you get the c cup when you when you getting you're getting your line up you got like maybe your vertical bars or whatever they're called like you gotta fill in so many gaps to me it's just like it's so meticulous while being so expensive if it wasn't so expensive i'd be like, all right do your thing try you know what i'm saying try your best but fuck man this is a lot of work but let's get this support dermatitis under control before we can actually take our trip to get the hair transplant. First things first, let's wet the, the scalp. You're going to have to tell them to get, give you a plug right here, right here, right here a little bit. Make it close enough to right here, right here on the other side. Like, it's a lot, cuz. Go ahead and grab our butter. And you got to pray it look natural. I mean, yesterday, a little goes a long way. Apply to the scalp. get some black spray yeah and never get into the fucking never jump into a pool or have an outing or sweat at all i don't know what type of shit that they be putting on y'all head when they be doing the barber shit but like if it's just some hair fibers bro cooked i'm gonna grab the strawberry mint growth oil if you haven't got your hands on this oil yet be sure to grab yours at the last spot.com easter promotion going on use code easter 24 at checkout don't miss out sell ends tomorrow and that's pretty much it for day. Why are you having a sale on products that don't fucking work? How are you so confident at the same time so hopeless? Like, what's going on, man? Free. And I didn't even hate. It's just like, bro, what the fuck? How do we do that? Niggas, I know some niggas bought your shit. How did you get the money? You just had a GoFundMe link. Where, where the money at? What, what the money at? What the money at? I told you, Sean, it's a pyramid scheme. Because I know it's really some niggas that are deeply insecure about their hair because, like, maybe they shit uneven or they find out they losing a little bit of hair. 
and it's like damn how do i stop it blah 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 and they gonna look they might look at this and be like yo he has some progress 100 percent convinced that all the extra she he did to his head just made everything worse y'all think he made it worse what what did he start with let me let me let me let, let's let's look at that first and then we can look at I got to swim. Jesus Christ. I don't know. Shorty had him drip. Oh my God. Wait. Okay. I fucked up. I went way too. I, whoa. I'm on a journey to bring my hairline back. I've been doing research on the past month on what's going to help me bring my hairline back. I found that. A Let me see. Good hair growth oil, minoxidil, and a derma roller or derma stamp will help with the journey. I just released a strawberry mint hair growth oil. Let on me my see some cuz. I did some crazy research on the main ingredients that I use in this hair growth oil rosemary oil, batana oil, biotin, apple seed oil, and castor oil. Mixed up all those oils to potentially bring my hairline back. So let the journey begin. We're gonna start off by applying my trusty new strawberry mint hair growth oil to my corner. And we're gonna grab our one millimeter derma roller and we're just gonna roll it. Like actually it. don't, like his head looks healthier. His head don't look as dry or as marked up. You know what I'm saying? Like you do a lot of damage. You do a lot of damage to your skin long term. If I am being honest, I would have done the same shit if I saw them TikTok comments talking shit. This should actually look valid right here. Like not to say that it don't look, you know what I'm saying? Like it could use some work, but like, I don't know if, do we look younger here? Maybe he's more hopeful. I don't know. And 70% alcohol instead. Put my yeah, his shit is way more moisturized. I'm gonna roll it to the side, wipe with excess oil. Now I'm gonna finish up by wearing my satin lime beanie since it's getting cold outside. It looked cool, it looked valid. At least. Inside of the it, it looked like a, a the, the type of head you could go bald with and then not have no marks underneath your hair. You know what I mean? It's really gonna help me with my hair growth journey. This satin lime beanie will be available on my website, shoppingtherest.com, October 1st. So if you want one, stay on the lookout. I'm on a journey to bring my Damn, hair. cuz. I hope it ain't a bunch of people with like some fucked up heads or nothing like that, bro. I really hope not. Cuz I don't want to see I don't like seeing nobody ruin themselves for cosmetic, you know what I'm saying? Um cosmetic approval. He definitely grew some back though. I don't know. It's so hard to tell. Like when the results are so minuscule, it's like can I really publicly show this journey? I think somebody like me, I would love to give people like some level of hope. So, I wouldn't I would document my journey, but I wouldn't make my journey public until I knew it was working or I knew it wasn't. You feel me? So if it worked after doing it for like a year, then when a year comes up and I got more growth. All right. I'm going to tell you all what worked for me. Let me put out the progress. Let me show you all each video, blah, 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 blah. If it don't work, I'm going to show you the same thing. But while it's happening and I'm selling shit, it don't feel right because it's not tried and true. It's not valid. It's not validated yet. You know, that's that's tough. Real genetic hair loss can't be brought back by oils and herbs. I believe you, hundred percent. You do. You gonna have to have some type of drug involved. And I think that the the finasteride one that y'all was talking about, it don't even have any. I don't even think it has any bad things. If you were a friend things. of his, would you have done an intervention at some point if yeah. it's going on for too long? Yeah, yeah. I would not allow my friend to spend ten thousand dollars on turkey. I'm just not. I'm not, bro. Like it's too much shit that you could use that money for. Um, and in the meantime, bro, like. I know it's tough. We all got insecurities. We all got shit that we going through. You know, I'm not going to sit up here and act like his shit that he's doing or going through ain't valid or nothing like that. But it's just like, bro, that's a lot of money for something that you're going to have to keep getting done. And I don't think I would even put a bigger foot, like a bigger foot down because you, you lead niggas astray. Like you giving them a false, you know what I'm saying? A sense of security. I feel like I don't really think that's fair. Not to say that they, I don't know how many people support it. I don't see the GoFundMe link in his bio or nothing no more. So either somebody gave him a very large donation, the nigga took out a loan, or uh, or he used the profits from that strawberry mint growth oil. That's really it. And it's just so much other shit you could do, bro. 10 G's ain't a lot of money, but you could do a lot of things with it. Taking out a loan is crazy. Hey, man. It's niggas that are so insecure that they take out loans to buy jewelry. Why not take out a loan to fix your hair? It's, it's all types of shit. Niggas do all types of shit, man. It don't just exist within one facet of the world, man. It's, just, it's tons of shit.